There's a difference at Diffie Ford Lincoln. Come experience it. Now to the latest on the fire. Oklahoma City police officer being tried for allegedly sexually assaulting 13 women while on patrol. Daniel Holtzclaw denies anything sexual ever took place. News 9 crime tracker Adriana Yvashinsky joins us live from the newsroom with more on today's testimony. Adriana? Well, Kelly, today a 10th woman testified she was sexually assaulted by Daniel Holtzclaw, and she got very emotional on the stand. The jury also heard from her private attorney, who has filed a tort claim notice on her behalf against the city. I think she did well under the circumstances. There were some emotional highs and lows there, but ultimately I think she answered the questions truthfully and accurately. Oklahoma City Attorney Tony Coleman is no stranger to high-profile cases. Most recently, he has been in the spotlight for representing Adesha Chambers, the woman accused of killing four people and injuring several others when she drove her car into a crowd of people watching the OSU homecoming parade. But today, he was in an Oklahoma County courtroom testifying on behalf of his other client, who is one of the 13 women who accused Daniel Holtzclaw of sexual abuse. I think there's struggles on both sides of the aisle here. Coleman testified that he has filed a tort claim with the city of Oklahoma City, basically putting them on notice that his client may sue the city for damages incurred in light of the sexual allegations against the former Oklahoma City police officer. But for now, Coleman is waiting to see the outcome of the criminal trial against Holtzclaw before moving forward with the civil case with the city. And he is watching the jury very closely. You never really know exactly what they're thinking. However, I will say this jury is very attentive. They appear to be taking note. Uh, they appear to be paying very close attention to all the evidence that's being presented, all the arguments being made. Both the jury and Holtzclaw have heard from more than 40 witnesses that prosecutors have identified as crucial to their case. Holtzclaw's attorneys are yet to have their opportunity to call their own witnesses. And the trial will resume Monday and is expected to last well into December. Live in the newsroom, Adriana Ivashinsky, News 9.